that's Laura Kenny. Julie left from Denmark on the wheel. And the Russian Olympic Committee, they are the ones that can gain everything here because if a lap is taken and granted, Yep, they're now in third place, so a lap has been granted. The results change. Great Britain still in the lead with 67 points over Denmark, who are now in second place on 32 points. And third place, the Russian Olympic Committee on 26 points. Which puts them 10 care of the Netherlands, the world champions, and France on 12. So now those uh, three teams have uh, really put some distance between uh, themselves and the rest of the medal contenders. Yeah, hard work for the Netherlands. They'd have to do something special, but they didn't look on great form. They've had a heavy crash with Kirsten Wheel. So if they finish in fourth place, I think they'll be happy with that. We'd love to see them try and do something for a medal, but it's not looking like their day, the two riders from the Netherlands. Great Britain absolutely unstoppable as they are still flying around the track. 16 laps remaining in the first ever women's Madison at the Olympic Games yet. And they have certainly done some training together. The team of Netherlands, um, Denmark in second place. Great Britain leads. And the Russian Olympic Committee sitting third place. Well, you feel the only way the Netherlands can uh, get up onto the medals uh, here is to win the last two sprints. So uh, we we'll give them 15 points and vault them from fourth place at least to third because they're trailing third place Russian Olympic Committee by 10 at the moment but they're trailing Denmark by 16. The Russian Olympic Committee in third place at the moment on 26. There's the bell. Then ultimate sprint. Five points available here. Denmark, France, and the Netherlands, Great Britain are there as well. They are hunting every point here, Great Britain. They have been absolutely dominant. They've won all but one sprint. France will take it. Denmark, the Netherlands, and then Great Britain. Well, the Netherlands are trying everything they can to gain points, but it might be all over. It looks like the medals are decided, but Netherlands could win the last sprint. Yeah, if they win the last sprint, they could uh, usurp Russian Olympic Committee. Ten points available for the last sprint, and we're down into single figures with nine laps remaining here. And Kirsten Field and Amy Peters salvaged something from what has been a somewhat disappointing performance for the Dutch team here. Well, I tell you what, this has been a sensational ride by Great Britain. They have been untouchable. Russian Olympic Committee, Denmark. Oh, a bit of a tight squeeze there. Australia's a bit of a wobble again. They've already had one crash. Nine of 11 sprints have gone the way of Laura Kenny and Katie Archibald here. They have been absolutely supreme, dominating this first Madison race at the Olympic Games. And they want to stay out in front, out of trouble. It'll be a painful last six laps. Julie left there of Denmark can see they're in silver medal position. For the silver medal it's all going to come down to that last sprint silver and bronze but it looks pretty well decided at this point with great britain leading denmark in second russian olympic committee in third well, if uh, russian olympic committee win the sprint and denmark don't get any points they would move into silver and the netherlands if they win the sprint could move into bronze as long as uh, the uh, russian olympic committee finish uh, below third so that's how tight it can be the gold medal is pretty much decided with great britain in the, the dominant position and this young russian combination have been absolutely outstanding they have been and they're in prime position to take maximum points too kirsten Bild. she's given a shake of the head to amy peters saying i can't sprint so she must have been injured with three laps when they come around to go you can see the fight now from the russian olympic committee Denmark are not there. Come round once more for the bell. They're winding up for the final sprint. Remember, double points here. 10, 6, 4 and 2. It could determine the minor medals. Great Britain have got this race in hand. There's no question about it. They have the, uh, the gold medal. A wave on there from Katie Archibald. But she powers away. Laura Kenny goes to the front. They are going to win this. It has been an outstanding performance. 
Here comes Great Britain, Laura Kenny, Katie Archibald are the Olympic champions, the first in Madison at the Olympic Games. Great Britain have been dominant all the way through. Second place will go to Denmark and the Russian Olympic Committee will take the bronze medal. But what a brilliant ride by Katie Archibald and Laura Kenny. They pick up double points at the end for good measure to just put the stamp on a superb performance. Well, I'll tell you what, that ride from Great Britain was something special. We may never see anything like it again. Winning on 78 points. We see Laura Kenny there just getting her breath back before she starts the celebrations. And they won all but two of the sprints. Quite uh, superb. Let's not forget the crash that Katie Archibald had. Half of her skin suit's being ripped off. And they go straight to the barricades there to celebrate Laura Kenny and Katie Archibald. There's the emotions from Julie Leff and Amelia Diedrichsen. The first Olympic women's Madison champions of all time. Exactly to plan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were, we were really strict on our approach. We've been um, playing around with uh, what we think our game plan will be for this race for a little while, and any time we kind of varied from our, our skill set, it went wrong. We knew that we did not want to be the ones that push a lap. We wanted to be the ones that stop the lap. We knew that we didn't want to be the ones that uh, go all out in a sprint. I know it might not seem that way, but we thought we just if we can be in every single sprint, it'll break even. Um, and when you when you go that way in the back end, you can really just take advantage of, of other people's legs starting to come off. Oh God, I'm dizzy now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, if um, if you stick to that confidence and, and trusted the plan that, like I say, we finesse over months and months, uh, it, it tends to work, or it's proven to work. And Laura, how much did you feel in control in that race? In a, in a race that seemed like no one could ever be in control of. Just so in control. <laughs> I mean, I said earlier, it's 60 laps to go. I felt like I'd barely touched the pedals. And I just felt like we had so much thinking time because we were in control. And when the French attacked, I was just like way off the chain. And I thought, yeah, I can catch that. And I don't know, I just, yeah, I felt like we stuck to our plan. We didn't let anyone side track us. We just had to do what we set out to do. And yeah, it paid off. <laughs> and it's a sport where percentages mean so much. I mean, even the helmets you were wearing, how much did that really affect everything? Yeah, so our, uh, our performance director comes from sailing. And we said we really we want to pick a helmet that we can just see without much, so that if it's just a corner of your eye, I know exactly where Laura is, you know exactly where I am. And he keeps getting us to go orange, you know, like colour of boys and that. We're like, the one people we want to beat are going to be in orange. <laughs> and obviously the Dutch turned up in black helmets, but uh, better safe than sorry. And Laura, has it, has it sunk in exactly what you've achieved in another Olympic Games? No, not yet. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. You know, when I feel pregnant with Albie, there was a moment that I thought, I woke up about, I maybe it was two months pregnant, and I said to Jace, I can't do this. Like, I literally am not going to be able to carry on. There's just no way. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. And watching you go around, it looked like you were enjoying it. Can you enjoy that? I get this a lot. That's uh... a... <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> We can yeah, enjoy no, my, it happy, now. my happy face is when I'm just like looking up at the sky. <laughs> That's my pain face. But um, yeah, we can enjoy it now, like Laura says. Fantastic team. Is this the start of the continuation of something brilliant? Oh, I hope so. Well done that far away, eh? Yeah, Women's First Madison <laughs> is, uh, will be in the, the first, first line of that Wikipedia page, which <laughs> I'm very happy about. Congratulations. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely superb. Well done. Oh.